You'll learn how to transfer music from your computer to your iPhone. If you find this guide useful, consider subscribing and liking the video, and let's get into this. The first thing you're going to need to do to move music from your computer to your iPhone is go and get iTunes. iTunes is basically an app for your computer which allows you to go and add music to iTunes, and then you can add your iTunes music to your iPhone music app. So let's get into this. So what you want to do is go and open up the Microsoft Store. If you don't already have iTunes, if you do, you can skip this part out. But if you don't, open up the Microsoft Store and wait for it to load. And it's important to note you will need to go and sign in to a Microsoft account. So either go and create one if you don't already have one or just go and sign in in order to download apps. So go to the top and type in iTunes. And here it is. So go and click on iTunes. And then here there's going to be a get button. At the moment it says open uh, because I already have it. So go and get it. You need to sign into a Microsoft account as I said, and then open it up. And once you're inside of iTunes, what you want to do is go to the top left and make sure music is selected. So click here, select music, and then under library, go and click on songs. And then what we need to do is go and add the music. You want to go and add to your iPhone here. So to do that, you just go to the top left and tap on file, and then you can tap on add file to library and your file explorer will then open. So in this case, I just wanna add one song. You can go and add multiple. So to do that, you can just click and drag on multiple songs, or you can go and hold control and you can then select multiple files. But yeah, I've just got this one here. So that's selected and then I'll tap open and there it is, we've now gone and added it. So once you've added the songs, then what you need to do is connect your iPhone to your computer. So go and grab your iPhone charging cable. You'll probably need to go and disconnect it from the wall adapter. And on one end should be a USB and the other just your usual phone connector. And what you should do is unlock your iPhone so it's just on the home screen and then plug in your phone and plug in the USB. Then it will take a moment to go and connect and you may go and get a pop-up on your iPhone the first time you do this saying something like, do you allow access? Mm. You'll need to go and press allow. If you don't press allow, it won't work. So press allow. And in the bottom right, it also says Apple iPhone. So for now, I'm gonna cancel this update. And then what you need to do is go to the top left of iTunes and go and click on this iPhone icon just here. And then what you need to do is go and click on music under settings just here. And what you need to do is make sure you press on sync music, three songs, just like that. And then go and press sync just like so. And then as you can see, it now says preparing to sync. And you've now gone and transferred the music. So if we now go and open up the music app on our iPhone, as you can see, I'll go into library, then songs, and that is the song which I transferred, Otis McDonald, and it's now on my phone. So I can now go and listen to it. If you found this useful, please leave a like.